time for another Las Vegas buffet review. Today we are at the Wynn to try Le Cobb's weekend butler style brunch. This one is going to be passed and served to your table and it is all you can eat. I'm very excited. Let's go check it out. Just got seated here at Le Cave for their brunch buffet. This is butler style. What that means is they're gonna come around with the food and we just choose what we want and they will serve it to us. Kind of a unique idea. It is all you can eat. They have put down a cheese danish and a little chocolate croissant to start just to let them know we're ready to start eating. It's $54 per person. There are 19 different items to choose from. We're gonna try to eat as much as we can and see how everything is. If you're interested in cocktails, they also have a bottomless cocktail menu. It's like $34 a person. You would probably want to have at least two to make that worth it. Probably more if you're into drinking while you eat. Wow, okay, we've been here five minutes and they came right to the table with so many of the options. We grabbed a ton of stuff to try right away and they do keep coming around so you don't need to like put everything on your table at once like we're doing, but it is easier to try everything. These hot wings are calling to me. They smell so good. They have a Frank's red hot sauce on them. They've got flats and they've got drumsticks. You know I'm team flats, you guys. So let's do this. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. Good meat on there. The red hot actually has quite a bit of kick. Ooh, those are hot. If you don't like spice, I don't think you're gonna like these. So be aware of that, but for me, ooh, that is a delicious hot wing. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we're gonna eat those for sure. Let's keep going though. There's so much to try, you guys. I'm really excited about this next one. This is the New York egg sandwich. Canadian bacon, eggs. There's a red pepper aioli on this on a Kaiser roll. The bread feels incredibly soft and like delicate. This smells really good. Let's see how this is. That's delicious. The Kaiser roll is so delicate, soft. It's got a great skin on it, if that makes sense, to the bread. Inside, I've got a really nice egg here. It's kind of like a McDonald's breakfast sandwich egg, if that makes sense, where the yolk and the white are separated. I can taste the Canadian bacon. I'm not getting a ton of that aioli. Let me get another bite. It's a very slight amount of the aioli. It's nothing overwhelming. Overall, it's a really solid little sandwich. It's really good. I could definitely eat more of those. I'm still, they're still kick from those hot wings, so beware, those are spicy, oh my goodness. This is the baked potato loaded tater tots. There's gravy, sour cream, chives, tots, gruyere cheese. Holy moly, let's give these a shot. I'm more of a french fry girl than a tot girl, but for breakfast I can be convinced to try tater tots. Ooh, that is a nice potato. The tot is perfectly fried. So it's like got that delicious deep fried taste. The gravy is actually quite delicate. I'm not getting like a heavy gravy flavor on this. It's not overly salty, which is kind of nice. I find gravy can be very salty. This is not. The sour cream is really delicate and light on there. There's a little bit of chives. Not getting a ton of Gruyere. Mr. Ruby would like you to know the breakfast sandwich is killer. He's loving that. <laughs> These tots are really solid. It's actually kind of a delicate dish for being something that sounds incredibly heavy. It's a really nice side. Speaking of heavy, <laughs> let's get some grits. These are truffle grits with pecorino cheese and mushrooms. Oh, oh my God. When they set these down, the smell that was coming off of these grits was incredible. I can't wait to try these. The texture of the grits is incredible. They're so light and fluffy and they have just a drizzle of the truffle oil all over. I can like see it. Oh, it's so good. If you don't like truffle, obviously, this is very truffle forward, but the little shiitake mushrooms are a really nice addition. Oh, yum. Okay, the grits are my favorite so far. I have to say, I think the grits might be the, the best part thus far. Wow, are those delicious. Okay, they brought us these scrambled eggs. They have caramelized onions and roasted tomato. I love caramelized onion. I love it. Let's give this a shot. I see chives. They put chives on a lot of this stuff. It looks so fresh and green. Let's give these a shot. 
Those are perfect scrambled eggs. Perfect. They are just the fluffiest, lightest, cloud-like little bits of egg that I have ever had. They are incredible. They are so good. And the caramelized onion and the roasted tomato add that nice sweetness, that vegetal sweetness. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how good those are. I, you know, we eat a lot of bad scrambled eggs on the buffets, it just is what it is. I have never even made scrambled eggs this good. Mm. Wow. Here, Mr. Ruby has to try those. Oh my gosh, are those amazing. So, two sweets. We have the cinnamon apple waffle and the brioche French toast. Honestly, I'm normally a French toast girl, but this waffle also looks incredible and it smells so good. I could smell the cinnamon. Let's try the French toast first. It says it's a cornflake dusted French toast. Should give it a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. The crunch from the cornflakes is awesome. I would never have thought to do that. And then the inside is that brioche, so it's light, it's super airy, like cutting into it was kind of like squishing it because of how light and fluffy it is. And they have a bunch of fresh berries with it, raspberry, blueberry. I like it, but how will it compare to the waffle? Let's see. This is an apple filling. I can smell it, it smells incredible. There's a ton of fresh berries on here. That's really good too. I can taste that apple pie filling, a lot of cinnamon, like a really strong amount of cinnamon comes through. And then the waffle is like a Belgian waffle. So you're getting kind of this like soft, light, fluffy inside. Not as crispy on the outside as the French toast. I'm having trouble deciding which one I like better. I honestly am more of a French toast girl, so I think I like that one better. But this, the cinnamon and apple really elevates it and makes it taste really nice. All these fresh berries on top is delicious. This is kind of nice. We're doing a buffet, but like we're just sitting here and they're just bringing it. I don't have to get up and get it. It's, it's really awesome, honestly. This is really good. Mm. I am going to be on an absolute sugar high after this review and I'm not upset about it. So two kinds of pancakes came out. The first are a Snickers pancake with a Bananas Foster. I'm assuming there's gonna be chocolate. It almost looks like there's some like Snickers crumbles. Oh my goodness, let's give this a shot. These are like the fluffiest, lightest pancakes I've ever seen. Those are so good. <laughs> the pancake is really delicate. Actually, like I was worried that this was just gonna be a sweetness overload. They're doing a lot with like the food to make everything really delicate. Like with those loaded tots, they weren't super heavy. This pancake is not as like cloyingly sweet as I thought it was gonna be. It's got a subtle sweetness. Like the caramelized bananas are just like a really nice, delicate caramelized banana. Not a ton of sugar overload, but they do have a dusting of the chocolate on the top. Like I could easily eat a lot of those because they're not like crazy sweet or rich. I don't know. But there's another contender. The cream cheese stuffed ube pancakes. I love anything ube. If you're not familiar, it's kind of like a sweet potato, but it's purple. Um, like a purple yam. They are really popular in Asian countries as like a sweetener for desserts because it's not super heavy. It's a very light. If you ever see ube gelato, give it a try because I absolutely love that. Um, there's some cream cheese in the center, a little bit of whipped cream. Let's try this. I'm really excited about this. So these are not like food dyed. That's the color of the ube that is dyeing this, this purple color. So these ones are a little bit less light and fluffy. These ones are a little more dense but the ube flavor coming through is really nice. It's a, such a delicate, subtle, sweet flavor. Um, I would say it's even more delicate than sweet potatoes without any sweetener in them to give you an idea of like what it tastes like. These are really good. I do kind of think the Snickers one was better because I love banana and the little bit of chocolate on that really fluffy pancake was great. If you are a sweet tooth person, oh my gosh, you're gonna go nuts in here because the French toast was amazing. The um, waffles were really great. Both of these pancakes were good and everything's been very unique and different. Each of these sweet items has their own flavor profile, so they've done a really good job with them. Mm. Oh my gosh. Angus mini burgers have arrived. These have a chipotle barbecue, bacon, onion, oh my gosh. So these do look like they're prepared medium. I would ask if you're interested in like having your burger a little more well done. The bun feels so soft and light. If it's anything like that Kaiser roll from the egg sandwich, it's gonna be incredible. Oh, it's like really juicy. Let's give it a go. It's 
delicious. If you're not used to eating a burger medium, order it, get it like this anyway and try it. It is so delicious. The meat is insanely tender. It's just falling apart in my mouth. It's like melting in my mouth. So mouthwatering, so juicy. I can taste that barbecue aioli really well. That's really coming through. It's like a subtle barbecue. It's kind of a tangier barbecue. And then the onion is like kind of a little bit of a back footnote. Sometimes caramelized onion can be really, really overwhelming. This is not that. This is really delicate, light. This is so nice. Mm. All right, we got the caprese salad. So fresh tomato, mozzarella, basil, balsamic, a very classic dish. A lot of vegetarian options on here, I did want to point out, and some gluten-free options. Also, we're only taking like one of each thing to try, but if you like something, they've come around with the same stuff multiple times since we've been here, and you can just keep getting the same thing that you liked. Mr. Ruby did get another one of those little sandwiches because they were really good. So let's give this a shot. Yum. So I'm incredibly picky about tomatoes. Um, if it's not like the most fresh tomato ever, I just get really weirded up by the texture. These are great. The mozzarella is a really high quality mozzarella. It tastes really good. The basil is so sweet. There's only a little bit of basil, so I was worried that I wasn't gonna get that, but it is coming through really nice with the tomato. It's perfectly balanced. The balsamic's really nice. So far, I've already feel like we've gotten our $54 worth, and it's so nice just to sit and relax and eat. So have this and see what they have next. All right, more food. Kind of the star of the show here, you guys. A filet mignon eggs benedict. We have got a toasted English muffin with a little filet across poached egg hollandaise. I can smell paprika coming off of this. This is a pricey dish. Let's see how the filet is. I've said it before on this channel, I'm not an eggs benedict girl, but that filet is wonderful. I really wasn't sure what kind of meat they were gonna put on a Benedict. It's like so tender, cuts like butter when I was cutting it with my knife. The creaminess of that poached egg is going on top of that, which is just incredible. And the English muffin is perfectly toasted and charred. It's a very good Benedict. So you definitely wanna try that one if you're a Benedict person. The steak really impressed me. It's really good quality steak. I think the thing that's making the difference here is everything's being brought out as soon as it's done and then we're tasting it totally fresh. Nothing's been sitting on a buffet line, nothing's been in a chafing dish. It makes a really big difference in the food quality. I can totally tell, it just all tastes like it just came out, it's really good. They have two different kinds of flatbreads. I'm excited to try both. So this one is a Nooski's Canadian bacon and egg pizza, so it's like a breakfast flatbread here. We'll give this one a shot, it's got cheese. Oh my gosh, that one is good. There's a kind of cheese on here that I'm having trouble figuring out what it is. If it's a fontina, it's really like salty and delicious. The, the ham on here is amazing. Like it's so good. It's got a perfect texture to it. It's not crispy like bacon. It's more that Canadian bacon texture. Really delicious. And then the flatbread itself is like a perfect crunch. Not too hard, not too crunchy, but very nice and crisp. Mm. Yeah. I can't identify the cheese, but it's very good. <laughs> that's a really nice flatbread. I love that that's another offering. They also have more of a classic like roasted tomato flatbread here with capers. This is definitely up my alley. There's a basil oil on this. Let's give this a shot. I like that one. The tomatoes that they have on here, the chunks, are so bright. Like so bright. It just like exploded in my mouth and it was like a bright sunshine flavor. That's the best way I'm gonna describe that. The capers add that little brininess on this. No, it's really delicious. The tomatoes taste so good. This, These are both really excellently prepared. More food. <laughs> now I'm getting full. It is starting to kick in. So they gave you this little cone of bacon and sausage. There's an applewood chicken sausage. There's also just thick applewood smoked bacon. Let's try the bacon first. Ooh, it looks nice and crispy, but also still greasy <laughs> in the good way when they say applewood smoke they mean it you can really taste the sweetness of that bacon that is a sweet bacon mm, wow good bacon really good quality cooked really nicely no complaints I want to try the chicken sausage as well this is that kind of sausage link 
that's more of true sausage, not breakfast sausage. That's really crumbly, if that makes sense. This is that true sausage link. Let's see. The texture is absolutely lovely. Wow, really great texture to the sausage. Also very, very sweet. Like these are both very sweet breakfast meats because of that apple with smoke. You can totally tell that that's there. So they both bring a lot of sweetness, not as much savoriness or saltiness there. So be aware. Both were good, but we've had so many like interesting and incredible dishes on this that I don't know if I would waste my time with bacon or sausage. They are good though. Now we have two lighter items. So they had a nice little fruit cup here. This has mint and then a bunch of fresh berries and fresh fruit. Fruit is so expensive in Las Vegas. So I'm really glad that they're offering this on this buffet so that you can get yourself something light and fresh. I can taste the mint, really fresh, really light. Fruit cup is always a plus. And then I'm also gonna try the yogurt parfait. This is what I would normally eat for breakfast anyway. This is my typical breakfast. It just looks like some Greek yogurt with a little bit of honey, a little bit of granola, some fruit added on top. Let's give it a shot. I don't think it's Greek yogurt actually. I think it's a regular yogurt. It's like a vanilla, um, a very sweet yogurt parfait. The raspberries inside are really nice. The granola is nice and crunchy. So those are both really nice options if you're wanting something a little lighter to go with your meal. But obviously like the Benedict and the flatbread are the star of the show. I think we have one more item before we eat our dessert pastries. You guys, we are trying every single dish. This is the last one to try. So there are 19 items overall. It's a lot of options. I am totally full, but we have to try this. This is a short rib hash. It's got fingerling potatoes and peppers. It smells so good. It looks like a roast. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's give it a shot. Oh my God. That's the best thing they have here. Oh my gosh. Up until now, I didn't really have any favorites. I thought everything was very delicious and like didn't have a standout. The meat here has some sort of soy sauce reduction or something that they're doing in this, which has this like sharp, salty tang to it. The peppers are like uh, like subtly sweet on the back end. Mm. Texturally, that's wonderful. Holy cow. I'm so glad we waited for that. Oh my gosh, you have to try this. You're going to love it. That is amazing. We can't forget about our pastries, you guys. They left these on the table to start, but I saved them for our dessert at the end. So it's cheese Danish and a pan au chocolat. It looks like some people had muffins. I think they just bring out a variety. Cheese Danish is my favorite Danish, so I'm very excited. Let's give this a go. A very delicious cheese Danish. Very solid. The cream cheese filling is really good. It's pretty standard, but it's a classic. I am very excited about this pan au chocolat, though. The layering that they've done to the croissant is incredibly impressive. Laminated dough is really difficult to do. I've done it. You're creating like pockets of steam to make the layers nice and flaky and you put chocolate inside, which is very heavy. It's a complicated thing. So I'm excited to give this a shot. Perfectly executed. Both the pan de chocolat and the Danish were excellent. So I mean, I don't think I had a single bad thing to say about anything. Everything was amazing. <laughs> Obviously, you guys, I didn't really have anything bad to say. I'm giving it two thumbs up. I love this concept. I love that we got to sit. They brought us a bunch of different things to try. And for 54 bucks, I thought the price was very fair. The quality was great. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next.